Hello, my name is Hugo. Today is a beautiful day and uh, I was thinking, what is the European identity? So, what better place to go than Brussels and find new perspectives about it? I'm here today to talk with two amazing and inspiring people and try to find out more about that. What is the European identity? Hey, um, I'm Geoffrey. Um, everyone calls me Jay. Um, I moved to Brussels, I mean to Belgium, about 10 years ago, originally from Ivory Coast. I moved here to study um, because my mom moved to Europe when she was 12 and basically she lived her whole, I, I would say, life here. She grew up here, so she knew that um, me coming to Europe, I will have um, a better opportunity has, I mean, to, to learn something. So that's how I got here. My name is Özge and I'm from Turkey. My mom used to come to Brussels for work and uh, one of her trips she took me with her. Uh, I was in high school uh, and it was the first time I went to Western Europe and I really liked it in Brussels and I don't know if it's luck or coincidence but uh, now um, I came here two years ago to work and now I'm living and working in Belgium. How was it the first time you arrived here? How was the cultural shock? Uh, do you have some, some funny experience? One of the first cultural shock is that I realized for the first time that I was black. Because I lived in Ivory Coast. Of course you know you're black, but you're surrounded with your peers. So it's like, yeah, okay, I'm black, so what? Then you move to, to Europe, lots of Caucasian people, you have everything. But then again, you see that, okay, actually there are lots of people that are different than me, even though we have Caucasian people in, in Ivory Coast, but it's just that there is a far, far, far less number. And when I took the bus the first time, I was with my cousin, then we got in the bus, and at the very first second, I felt like everyone was looking at me. And my cousin, who is also black, is looking at me and is like, man, you're just dreaming, no one is looking at you here. And now, after many years, I know, no one was looking at me. But it was just a feeling, Yeah, you see. Okay. I felt like I was, I was different. I came here, I had to um, apply to get a work permit. Uh, the paperwork is not easy. Every year you have to do it, right? And every year you're reminded that you are, you know, a migrant in this country. It gets easier every year, but still every year it's a stress. I have to say it's really inspiring to hear to both of you and uh, it's things that I would never thought about it. Uh, <laughs> wow, just wow. So after all of that, what you would say is, uh, what is to be European? I would say that to me, being European is being part of this huge community. We can even see it with Erasmus. We get to know each other with all the students that come, from, come, come abroad, but it just feels like one. So I would say to me, it's being in a community, it's live with a certain standard in a, in a certain structure, and it's all about being united. That's what it is to me, being European. Yeah, I mean, it, it's very interesting, but I was also thinking a little bit like, what is the European values? Uh, because I mean, if you look at Europe, EU at least, there's a peace project. And like, as you were saying, like then we are a big community here. So we, there are no borders and at least we are not fighting against each other. So that rule of law and also equality and democracy uh, these are the things that I think make like Europe or the EU like really strong. These common values, they are the, you know, the cement that builds this structure together. And we have to make sure that we have this in place so that we as a community can continue living together um, and giving each other space to be who, you, who we are, basically, and respecting each other. To what extent you already feel European? I went back to Ivory Coast um, nine years after moving to Belgium for the first time. I was not used to the way they used to live. Um, I was not used to my old ways. I had completely changed. So I was always commenting on stuff. Yes, but why do you do it like this? You should do it like that. And I think it makes more sense because in Europe, that's how we do. And later I, I, I got to, to become a Belgian citizen, um, which then emphasize this feeling of, um, I mean, I feel included in, 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 in this community. And this is how 
I, I, I feel about being European. I think the things about European identity, if I were to say about it, is that there is none. You can be whoever you want to be, you can come from what country you want to come from. Even I come from Ivory Coast originally. Then I got to become European because I kind of um, took this lifestyle where I feel included in this community. And to me, this is what is having a European identity about. I completely agree. When I, I try to picture, when you say European identity, I try to picture a person and nothing came to my mind because I think European identity is not to be, uh, you know, white or black or Muslim, Christian or Jewish or it's to be, it, it is this, this community and you can, uh, we are still working on it, but in my mind, in the perfect European identity, you should be whoever you are and still be accepted in Europe. If you choose to be European, then you are European.